Yeah, good day everyone. This is Robert Enterprise. So in this class, I'll be taking us through how to make a cow neck top. So one thing about a cow neck, as we all know, is that you have drapes at the front, that is around the neckline region of that top. So how do we go about that? The first thing is that if you get your basic bodice block, like I have done here, but you notice that we don't have uh, that. That is because most of the time, cow necks are made with stretchy fabric. All those fabric that that are that are flexible. That is, it's not a thick fabric, so that the drape will be able to show very well. It will be able to fall. So we don't need a that. So all you need to do is get your basic bodies ready like i have my own here this is the front block and this is the back block your back body should be one inch or deep that is the neck depth should be one inches at the back but the front is zero inches like we have it here there's no need for you to draw any neckline on the front neckline you don't need to call me by whatever inches you just need to leave it like that so this one i'll be cutting it now this is just to have so that do not look too plain just to have a shape of the neckline at the back that's why we are doing that and if you also it will help you to have this shape at the back and at the same time we need a high neck at the back the back neck must be high so that it will raise up very well to support the drape neckline at the front. So, when we draw it, this is what we'll be having for the back. So, after you must have gotten that, you got your front and your back bodies ready, like I have mine here. What you have to do is make sure that you notch the point where the shoulder starts you can see it here i've used the scissors to open it a bit so that i will know that that is the neck that is where the neckline stops this is the shoulder so now after you must have gotten that the next thing is to get our cow neck that is our cow style our cow neckline our cow style line so what we'll be doing is that you are going to open this this is the back once you have this for the back you are you are done with the back piece there's nothing more that you want to change here this is how this is going to be but for the front what you'll be doing is that you will open it up at this line i suppose this is the bust line now that line that goes to your hammer that you use informing your ammo or you can always get the measurement from your client measurement of their bust line just before the bust that is the upper chest before the bust main before the bust line or bust point so you are going to cut it open like so then you will transfer this to another pattern entirely so after you must have cutting it like so you remove it up like this it's because we are not cutting that through that's why it is giving us some kind of attitude so you will open it up like this and transfer it to another pattern entirely so once you open it like this just open it once you cut through that line, you open it like so, and you note or notch the uh, shoulder, where the shoulder starts from. Yeah, I hope you can see what I'm showing you. That is at this point, you note it, because you'll still be using it eventually. So once once you open it up like this, I will transfer it to another pattern now, and I will show you what we'll be having. Yeah, so I have placed it on another pattern now. 
So what you will now do is that after you must have placed it like this, you can hold it down with a uh, masking tape. Just to hold it in place. You can just hold it down like so. So, once you have it on another pattern like this, what you now do is that this side, you are going to connect it to this point here. I hope you can see that. You are going to bring it to this edge here. So, I'll be doing that now. Just follow it from here. From here. And use it to connect to this end. This is what I'm talking about. So, this is what I'm talking about. So, you connect it from here to this point. So, once you have that, you have successfully transferred it to your new pattern so what you just need to do is that follow the shape trace it all through you can use your tracing wheel to transfer it so that all the sh all the shape are the size down to the hem we see be there so with that you have successfully have another pattern entirely and make sure you note the points of the shoulder so here yeah, this is it so make sure you know to the point so that when you are joining the shoulder you will know where to join to the back that is the width of the shoulder you'll be able to know when joining it to the back so that it will rhyme all this that you have access with it is what you fall at the front so let me trace it out and show you the outcome so now we have our new pattern so we have already transferred this successfully so if i remove it now you will see what we'll be having the new pattern we have yes this is it this is a new pattern now and this is the point of the shoulder so if i bring the back bodies now and show you you will see that the the, the shoulder is still right at this point so when you are joining it together you join the shoulder and all this is what we call after you must have joined after you must have joined the two together i'll be spreading it out and show you now what i'm talking about so you can see that the SS is already there at the neck region. That's why we call it a cow neckline. Just like we have a cow calf So this is a cow neckline. So I'm trying to notch that shoulder point again. So that we have it on both sides. The matter is showing you on one side. So now here it is. Once you join this side, the shoulder here, this one will be here, supposed to cover because we are using a paper. That's why it is going like that. So when you join this side also, you join this side like so. Let me use the masking tape. Yeah, so here is the final outcome. It is because it is a paper, assuming it is your fabric, it will just fall like that. So this is what you will have after you must have joined it, then you are free to join your uh, side then your sleeve and everything and your top is ready so that's how to go about a cow neckline a cow neck top that's how to go about it so once you join your shoulder you join the shoulder here also you have your neck falling like this but this is a paper it is not giving us the real picture of what we are talking about so feel free to practice and see how it comes out thank you very much this is Loop Enterprise.